Hi friends! We're getting an early start today. We've got lots that has to be going on today. So look at all the new arrivals. Now listen, I think you could definitely bring these in for winter even though they're silver. And I have to change out my front entry still. So I'm going to grab some red velvet and some white because they're just classic and they're beautiful together. So look how pretty. We're gonna grab these and they're gonna be outside anyway. So I don't like to spend a lot of money on any decor I put outside. Are you guys the same way? Cause the Florida sun will just bleach it like crazy. But look at the color of green they have. That's pretty too. And then these are ones I've used. Those are excellent. But let's go inside. Thank you. Let's get a bucky. Hi girls, how are you? I gotta get some last minute things for our family gathering today. And I also heard that they had some more items at this particular store that's brand new, like these. Oh my goodness. Anybody else love these? These were my some of my dad's favorite. The pecan honey caramel milk chocolate. And they're great for stocking stuffers. And then look, you guys can make a cute little basket for your neighbors. They have little cheeses the chocolate spoons, the Dunkin' Chocolates jelly-filled, oh, that looks so sinful right there. Looks like it would spike my sugar, so I'm not gonna grab it. <laughs> Y'all, but it looks so good. Everybody looks so festive. All right, let's go check out all the stuff. Hey, Cindy, hi, um, Susie. Hey, Lynn, good morning. Okay, we don't need any gift boxes. We have all those. But look at all the pretty ones. I love that different Dollar Tree have different gift bags. Can you see how everything's whittling down? Because they're getting ready to put out Valentine's Day stuff this week. So don't be surprised in the next few days if I come back and show you all the new Valentine's Day stuff that's coming out. So all the things that's going to be moved and shift. Moved and shift. This will be cute for you guys to use through, um, not necessarily just Christmas, but for winter decor. You could put some cute little white trees in these and definitely pull it through winter. Be super cute. Okay. I know that there was some stuff down here. I think this is the store. Oh, here they are. Look, brand new, brand new, brand new prayer cards. I don't know about you guys, but I love these absolutely love these there's three different styles we'll pull some of them out oh here's some more stuff that we can do for winter these right here you can definitely use these for winter girls because they are little sleighs and i like that there's three different styles i think i like that one and i like that one Hey, Linda, good morning. Look at all the gingerbread guys, the snowflakes. They still have lots of Christmas, um, like gingerbread houses. But those would be cute converted into Valentine's Day. I've done it. Anybody else done it? And you can add some cute little pink trees to it. That would be super cute with lots of snow. Hey, Patty, how are you? Um, and then these last minute things you can make some snow globes still out of and then make some cute snowmen out of these so there's a lot of winter decor right there and still with winter decor they have a couple of skis so this would be cute if you're going to put a little winter scene together you can either put those together or you can prop it up next to it and make a snowman to ride on inside the sleigh. Or if they have the Christmas ornaments with the snowman, you can add that on the top too. That would be super cute. What do you guys think? Wouldn't that be adorable? I like the little trees. The reds, the pinks, perfect for Valentine's Day. Okay, ooh, I love this. I'm gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna put, I think some money and I have a hot chocolate thing. 
I'm wrapping a saran wrap thing today so that we can do that this evening with the adult kids. Okay, here's some more stuff you can do for winter. Like the snowman, you can use, here, you can use this. Oops, not Santa. Santa, I'm not bringing you home, you stay. Don't know how in the world you got out. All right, hold on girls. Hey, Tina, you can grab these snowflakes. So you can grab either designs. You can either grab this one and you can paint it and put it as the body for the bottom. Or you can grab this one and also paint it for the body. So you have a winter decor. You can also do it with this guy. That would be super cute too. What do you think? Want to do one of those? <clears throat> and then you could add a little snowman here and there, or little um, ornaments, I'm sorry, snowflakes here and there, like attached. Uh, you could actually probably take it out a little bit, cut them in half and attach them to a kebab stick to make the little arms on them. I think that would be kind of cute. I think it would. Tell me what you think. I want to see if this is Christmas scents right here. The essential oils. Let's see if it is. Orange cranberry. That can definitely be for Christmas. Oh, snow cap fern. Oh, I want to smell that. Berries evergreen. I want to smell that one too. And pomegranate punch. All right, these are all winter, y'all. I have to smell them. Let me smell it. Okay, I like this one. That one smells really good. Hold on. Oh, and that one smells decent too. All right, let's grab a few more of those. I like those. I can put those in my little um, candles. So here's the trees. Oh, and look. There you go, girls. New Year's Eve stuff you guys were talking about. Just intertwine it with what you currently have with your Christmas stuff. And if you want to make winter decor, then grab the white trees. And I already showed you, but let's just go get them just for fun. Just for fun to show you what it would look like. You guys ready? Hey, Craft Room Confessions. How are you, sweetie? I didn't see that. These. Those down at the bottom. That would be super cute. And you could put it as your centerpiece if you wanted to. Isn't that cute? You could probably even do the little pink ones too. And that would be adorable. Oh, this is pretty. Y'all could decoupage this on the surface for the background, make it white but use this for the background. I think I'm gonna try that. I love the snowflake colors. It doesn't have a bag to it, so we'll have to scan something else. Let's see if we can go find some wood that we would decoupage it on. Okay. Good morning. They have lots of trees here, y'all. So if you can't find the white ones, just paint. You can paint the uh, green ones really easy. If you can find some of the white um, stems, Chanel stems, you could mix some cute little white trees too. That would be perfect for your winter decor. This would be perfect for spring and Valentine's Day. Oh, who loves this? That's super pretty. I love that. That's a really good find. That's worth what I found today here at Dollar Tree. That alone. <clears throat> All right, this color can be used for Valentine's Day. Oh, we're gonna check around. Oh, they have some cute little things in here that we definitely could use for Valentine's Day. So let me go check. All right, hold on. Oh, here we go. The love sign definitely could be used. 
Um, you could probably attach it with a cute little thing that we can make for Valentine's Day with this. You could do some adorable, make some hearts and attach them to the round outside of this for petals. That would be super cute. Their breast cancer um, fabric. Yeah, that was, they had some pretty breast cancer fabric. I don't know if we'll find it, but here's some that has little hearts all over it with rainbows. Definitely used for Valentine's Day. <gasps> These are super cute. Unicorns. Those could be used. This could definitely be used. It's got all pinks in it. That could be used. Let's see what else we can find. Pinks and grays. I like pinks and grays together. Um, I think they're really, really pretty. So if you love the farmhouse style like I do, well, I just made a mess, but we're gonna fix it. Um, it's always hard sometimes whenever you have one hand and you're trying to do things, y'all, and it gets too heavy. All right, let me fix my mess. And they mixed other stuff in there with it too. Good gravy. That one's really pretty with the little roses on it. That's cute. And then, then look at these fabrics. We'll also look at those. You can make some cute little um, stuffies, put them in some dough bowls, put some scented on there. Like the ones I just picked up the scents. It said snowy something on it was pretty decent. Um, this one's pretty if you like neutrals. So you could make some with these and maybe some white and creams together. That would be pretty. Let's see what other colors. That, oh, here's some more browns. But I love these colors, y'all. I'd be. I feel like I would really be angry at myself if I did not pick them up. What do y'all think? Do you like these colors, the brown tones? I think they're definitely farmhouse. Tell me what colors you think is farmhouse. They have a gray stripe and then just a gray solid, which is pretty. Um, oh my goodness, this one's got donkey and cows all over it. That's hilarious. Oh, that's hilarious. That was really funny. Okay, let's see what else is down here. Oh, they got a lot of fabric at this store. I am quite shocked. Here's a, like a pinstriping, kind of a black and white. And this one's a gray and white. Oh, I'm gonna have to make some decisions on those. Oh, you're welcome, Tracy. Oh, some of these colors. I know I just showed this earlier, but still, I think this would be perfect for Valentine's Day. What do you think? Even though it's got unicorns, it's got beautiful roses, cute little pink dots. And then look at this cheetah. Ooh, I think it's whatever you want. I think it's about whatever you love. You know what I mean? And then here's a pretty one. Definitely farmhouse. Let's grab some of these. Let's grab some of those. Ugh. Yeah, those are pretty. Okay. Now, let's see what else we're going to find that we could do for Valentine's Day. Um, they have a wood heart, so we definitely can do that. But I grabbed one with a cross that we're going to do something with for Valentine's Day. Um... They have some of these metal. So these would be really good if you want to attach them, even with a galvanized Look, You can do something farmhouse if you want to connect that in the middle. Definitely do that. And then take some half beads and surround it. You can rust up the heart if you want to do that. That would be cute. And then they have some heart metal right here that we could definitely rust up. Um, I don't do a whole lot of messy bows. I do something that's called scrap bows. Shabby chic scrap bows if I make any with these. I think messy bow, I don't know who made it, but there's a few other people that's done messy bows. I think Refab was the original one that came up with that idea. Um, but anyhow, I like to use them for like stuffies, smaller little bow, little bows that I do. They're shabby chic bows. And most of my followers that's been here for a while, you guys know what I'm talking about with shabby chic bows, right? 
I think most of you know. How do I rest them up? Well, you use a concoction of, um, oh, this would be really cute to do something for Valentine's Day. These right here. Definitely got to do that. Um, it's vinegar, peroxide, and salt. And then you can just put it out in the sun and it'll help oxidize it much faster. But these have a film on them. Here we go. So make sure that you use your um, sandpaper and rust, you know, go over it and get the coat of it um, off, the protection coat on it first. And then that way it'll oxidize even faster. And then you can just check it every few hours. And if it doesn't oxidize enough or fast enough, then you can um, leave it overnight and then just leave it in the sun. Okay. So my idea I was talking about for Valentine's Day, which would be pretty, find this type of cross that you like at Dollar Tree and look, put it across here because we really know who our, our first love was, our Lord and Savior. But just find the different one. They have different designs. There's that one, this one that I used for a pumpkin stem that was really pretty. That's pretty. And you could use a couple of Jenga blocks or something like that if you wanted to, to add to it. Um, if you can find some of their other, you could also make a little riser. So if you find these, um, we'll go over and look for some of their little ornaments over here. And I'll show you, you can attach them to the bottom and make some beautiful little risers out of them too. That would be cute. Some people like to use Mod Podge and cinnamon. Um, that's a quick way for rusting. It's not, I mean, if you layer it up after a while, yeah. But if you want true genuine rusting, then the items, uh, three items I told you about is something you can use. Okay, I love these. These are perfect for stands, y'all. So for instance, when I say stands, if you want to attach any of these to make shelf setters to them, like the truck or the gnomes, if you want to do a little winter scene, get two of those, connect them on here. You can even connect it and put a heart in the middle with the cute little gnomes. That would be super cute. Good morning, Pam. Y'all throw out some love this morning. Let's get... Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Let's get up to a thousand and then we'll start calling out some names for TLC. <laughs> you can use these to attach as well for the houses. If you want to do that, they have some arrows, but I don't see them here. They can be taller that cut down that would make houses. And with you putting those houses there, you could grab this word right here attach it to the front and do all different sizes in the back of, um, for little houses. What do you think? Don, are you going to try it? What do you like? Do you like the house idea, the truck idea, or the gnome idea? Which one of those do you like the most that we can do farmhouse? You can either do the word in red, or you could do it in a brown, depending on what colors you like. And we could do the base in black, the house in white, and the roof in black. Thanks. I appreciate you that you like them. So that would be, yeah. probably need about three. Yeah, probably need three or four of these. Tina says a truck. A lot of you guys are saying the house. Well, here's a small house. I mean, a small truck. You can make two of them out of that one. You could do the ones with the house as well. And they have other words over here. I'll show you. I'm going to get out of the way. Um, it's okay. They have this one that says home. 
we could use that one. Uh huh. It's a light. Okay. Let's move on. Anything that you want to do for Valentine's Day, if you're going to use cardboard, you can use the pink. Oh, and they just got some of my favorite yarn in. I like to mix these in with my scrap bows just for the texture of them. So they have the eyelash. They have it in the cream and they have it in the brown. And they also have it in the steep burgundy. Those are really pretty. I was hoping they have it in uh, ivory. The house, the truck. This is also really pretty. Actually, both of these colors would be pretty to use for Valentine's Day. Look at that. That would be super cute. You could even do a tree for Valentine's Day in these colors. That would be adorable. A station wagon. Yeah, I think I did one for Christmas if you girls have been here for a little while. Um, but someone bought that one pretty quickly. It didn't stay around for long. I don't know why that these little houses are down here, but that's another one that would be cute. You could attach that word love in the front of that one as well. So if you find these, you wouldn't have to do a lot of painting. You could just attach that in there as too. A lot of you are liking the house idea. Okay. Okay, well, we can do the house idea. Let's see what's up here. Oh, I see something brand new, y'all. It's the frame. Check it out. Hold on. Oh, wait. It's not what I thought it was. From over here, that looked like it was the new farmhouse frame that they've been coming out with, but only certain locations are getting it. But when I got closer, it's a hectagon. It's not the actual frame. It psyched me out, girls. It psyched me out. Darn thing. Either the truck or the house. Okay. Well, the truck, I was going to do something different with whenever they get some of the heart ornaments in. Um, I was going to make it look like there's floating hearts coming out of the back of the pickup truck. Then we could use it as a door hanger. That would be really cute. Any of these... If you can find those wooden hearts, any of these would be really pretty to also convert onto um, these big stickers on those wooden hearts. You guys know what I'm talking about? Because they're really pretty. You could definitely, like a pretty mint green with these pink flowers all over the top of it. A soft pink for the background with maybe this one. And then maybe a a lavender color, a soft purple, definitely with this one that you could do. And then for the hydrangeas, same thing. You could do a heart. Yeah, check yours. So I'll go grab a heart and show you what I'm talking about. These right here, if you can find them, these are the best finds right now, is these. Because you can use these year round, perfect for any like home decor, farmhouse theme. So those are brand new. Those are worth the fine just for those today. And then these two, those are also perfect for that. And you can still make snow globes or snowmen out of these. Just stack them three high and put little village scenes in there if you wanted to with lights. That would be really cute. Hey, Sylvia. Hi, Paula. How are you, friend? All right, let's go, go check out. Oh, this would be cute. You could use this as a shelf setter. Take this out. This is Welcome Fall. Put the galvanized metal heart that I have in here. Um, you can paint it or rust it up and add a little detail of bow, like around here or something like that, and you have a cute little shelf setter. That's left over from fall, but still, it's got a cute buffalo check in there. All right, let's, oh, there's some more of those praying cards. Oh, this would be cute to do for Valentine's Day. You could paint these. Oh, that would be super cute too. Look, 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 look. 
I think I like this idea better than I do the bigger houses. Take this piece of wood. We can paint these. So if we want to go with definitely like colors that we love for Valentine's Day. So if we want to go with gray and pink, we could paint the bottom of this, you know, pink if we wanted to paint all of these gray, even though it has a shine to it, whatever color, black and white, whatever you want to do. Um, and then we can just stack these like a little village down here. I like this, this better. And plus I get a better value because I'm getting one, two, three, four, five little houses that I can make that little village with versus having to buy three of them. Does that make sense? So I can do this for less than three bucks doing this versus it would cost me one, two, three, um, four, probably like five because it's $1.25 each. Does that make sense? Pam, that's what I'm here for is to help you get your mind clicking and going. Get it, get, get the creativity just popping out there. That's what I hope to be here for you. Okay. Because sometimes my brain don't shut down and that can be a curse. <laughs> I'm just looking at some of these to see if they're, ooh, 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 ooh. Look, that's pretty, y'all. That's a pretty, pretty, pretty. I like that pretty sailboat. All right, so going back over here. Did someone grab that heart? They didn't. Um, here. Paint this background, whatever color you like, and attach these flowers. This would be pretty with a lavender color. And I would fold this over. I wouldn't make it fit the whole frame of the picture, I mean, of the heart. I would just make it go just a little bit on there. Almost as if you were decoupaging a certain image on there, even though they're big. I think I, that would be pretty to do. Mm. <laughs> Belinda is your mind keep going afterwards. And that's funny, honey. I love that. And these also are perfect. Oh, wait a second. That if you can find the wood that they um, now have available at Dollar Tree, you can add this to it and do a farmhouse scene, or you can paint over the top of this and you can attach these and do it three of the, do three of them. And then you can have a cute little, um, hangers that you can put in your bathroom. That would be a farmhouse style. You could do that with these. You can even do it with, this is us. Okay, this would be perfect for Valentine's Day. And so easy. It's a sticker. So we could get the long piece of wood and attach that to it. Wouldn't that be fun? Good morning. You could also do it with instead pray about everything. Don't worry about anything. All right. If we reach that 1,000 today, we're going to call out a few names for TLC. We only have a few left. All right. You can also use that and paint over it for a design on the heart, which would be really cute. They're putting out some inventory, y'all. Let's go down and see if we can find some more stuff. Ooh, I don't need any more of that. Oh, they have the pretty scarves, y'all. Now, I like the color of this. It's, it's kind of a rusty orange, kind of, well, rusty red, but that's pretty. They have the trouser socks. Super cute. Do y'all see all the scarves? There's blue, gray, the black and white, which is super adorable. I wish, 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 wish I could have found the hat and a scarf to match that. That is so chic to me. I absolutely love that. It's really pretty. And then they have all these last minute stocking stuffers you can get for grandkids. People that might come over last minute and you may not be the one that's there. All right, these compression socks, 
I'm going to grab some for TLC. I did not realize how many of you were going to need them or want them yesterday. So I'm going to grab the six to 12. I'm going to grab two pairs of these and I'm going to grab a couple of pairs of these because compression socks, if y'all don't know, are really expensive, really expensive. So those will be perfect. Matter of fact, um, they'd be really good for Patrick's mom right now. Let's see. What is this? And then diabetic socks. I don't know what the difference is between non-diabetic. What is the difference? Anybody got to tell me? Because I have no idea. All right. Let's see if there's anything we can use over here. Maybe for some organizing. I don't see nothing yet. My skin is itchy today. I think it's because we have a little bit of a cold front coming through. Okay. I was looking, oh, they're bringing back. Oh, 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 wait, I see something. Are they expensive? Well, I grabbed some for you, for whoever is gonna need some for TLC. They have some red plates here, so Remember when I showed you my place at home that I have the white version of these? They have them in red too. And I gave up my expensive dishes from JC Penney's for my white ones because I love them that much. Yeah, I took my expensive ones I had from JC Penney's out of my cupboard because I love the ones that were had the white little beaded um you know, edges to it. It was just clean and pretty to me and I liked it. Now these can be used year round for anything. Put some lights on them. You can add a little bit of food coloring to your paint or glue um, and glue that on the inside of the glass and you can have yourself a cute little pink ambience with some lights in there. Um, and then if at the very top, if you wanna add some cute little puffy hearts, cause they will be coming out with some, um, that would be super cute to do for cute little centerpieces if you wanna do that. Okay. And those white trees that I just picked up, those will be perfect to add on the very top of here. So if you want to do something with a Valentine twist, do some pink and red on the trees, put some cute little hearts with um, lights down at the bottom and you have your cute little centerpiece for Valentine's day on that. That would be super adorable. Um, we have a chance of snow in North Alabama. Well, I would love that. I hope you get snow, get some snow for me. I love snow. Thank you. In Ohio, is the weather bad? Okay. Oh, they have a big truck coming out. They have a lot of stuff coming out y'all. I'm gonna move out of the way. I'm gonna give her some space. Let her get that stuff out. The tops, okay. It's tops of the um, socks are stretchy. Is that what it is? I have no idea. Uh -huh. I got a big lasagna I got to make today for all the kids coming. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, y'all. <gasps> This is perfect, perfect, perfect for after Christmas. Great for winter decor. It's in the blue and in the white and look, it has marshmallows and let's get cozy. Oh yeah, we're gonna grab a couple of those. So if you want some TLC, go sprinkle, girls, go do what you gotta do best. And then we're gonna go back and take a look at one other thing, this store, has um, a lot of um, food selection for the plus store that other stores don't have for some reason. All right, I'm looking at gloves. These are really good. My brother likes these um, for wiping his car down after they're washed, it helps dry quickly. He loves those. 
Aren't those cute? Little t they're actually little um, flower sack towels. And then you can make some cute little trees out of these too to set up for winter as well. Adorable. Let's see their selection. I sometimes will grab their frozen veggies. Their chew, let's see. If they have chicken chalupas, I also get those sometimes. Mm -hmm. Now these are a $1.25 value meal. We'll see where they have. Here we go. This is the um, plus section. They have like the Eggo Lego waffles, the name brand pretzels, name brand pizzas, um, chicken parmesan, and my son loves these crazy things right there. Those chicken and um, cheese flour tortilla. He loves those. They have lasagnas. They have name brand food in here in the plus section. Look, all that stuff. <laughs> Am I making you hungry? Well, we got a lot of food that's going to be happening tonight. We got lots of food and I'm a hot mess right now because I don't even gonna worry about what I look like until closer to the kids wind up getting here because mom's gonna go home and start some more cooking. So we'll be doing, ooh, y'all, this is super cute. All natural is what you get today, hold on. This would make some adorable little snowman scarves super cute oh look at this one i love the green and black together oh and this is festive too i'm getting one of these because we're taking family photos today our dog is getting groomed so i'm gonna grab her one of these cute little scarves to put on her fur she needs to be festive too and i'm gonna get her a cute little